You started with the finance big picture. And finance is about four things, I said, and we're going to look at two of them mostly, financial diagnosis and management, um, which is about balance sheets and income statement and cash flow. And we're going to do investment decisions, which is about capital budgeting and about um, making decisions on different projects. Um, we looked at annual reports. Again, how does the CEO get measured? How does the CFO get measured? How does the market look at a corporation? Um, we looked at ratios. And uh, there are liquidity or financial leverage or activity or all those things, the market value ratios. And we looked at examples from different industries and how each industry is different. Um, <coughs> we looked at how we can use it to uh, measure companies. So what is the difference in leverage between two companies and what kind of difference does that make on the bottom line? So if one company is more levered than another, uh, what's that going to do to the company in terms of ROE uh, or in terms of uh, net income? Uh, and we looked at those. Uh, uh, we went to, of course, the, the, the web to look for sources of those ratios. Uh, cash budgeting. Now, this was only five weeks ago, people. It feels like it was so long ago, right? But it was only five weeks ago that we did cash budget. Cash conversion cycle. So how do you manage the company in terms of cash? What are the things that you need to move around in order to get more cash into your bank? Whether it's inventory conversion, or, or day sales, outstanding, and all that good stuff. Um, and in fact, as... Uh, we did with pretty much everything. We looked at companies uh, and how they use these ratios and how HP manages its cash versus, for instance, Dell. And if Dell, if HP managed cash like Dell, they would have an extra five billion dollars. So is that the right, you know, five billion here, a billion there? Pretty much, it, pretty soon it's real money, right? So, but there's nothing wrong with that because, of course, it all comes from the corporate strategy. Um, briefly, we looked at weighted average cost of capital um, and all the components, or in a simple way, EBA, um, economic value added, and what, um, how some of the public companies get measured using EBA. And we don't see more EVA because EVA is a proprietary measure. Uh, otherwise, we would see more EVA. But um, we looked at present value, discounted cash flow. We applied that to solar. Uh, we did a discounted cash flow of, was it 40 year cash flow for just using the news. So we still didn't have all the data. But this gave us uh, an idea of what the cash flow would be. So net present value, comparing different companies, capital budget. Um, three types of cash flows, initial, project, terminal. And basically, this is the framework. Initial, project, termination. And then we use the net cash flow to do all the analysis whether it's net present value, IRR, and all that good stuff. And these are the tools that we have seen over and over again. And we've even, we've even okay, so this is GM. Remember GM? All that long ago? Uh, how do we analyze GM? Um, and we even analyze the news. The, the, the Chambers uh, write-up in the Wall Street Journal, which you can look at, which you can study, even from that same framework, the net present value point of view. Relevant cash flows, sensitivity, so we added a little bit of risk into the situation, and these are uh, some of the tools. Um, business valuation, again, comparable value, liquidation value, replacement value, and of course, discounted cash flow value. 
so we did the exercise. Is Facebook worth $25 billion? And the answer was? <laughs> and then we put this whole thing together, again, for an acquisition valuation. We used ratios, we used discounted cash flow. Basically, we put many of these tools together to do acquisition valuation, venture valuation from the VC point of view, um, clean energy project finance. We have the guest speaker as well as our own. And today we did product ROI. Ah, can you believe? So, to wrap it up, I told you on day one my course objectives uh, were to provide you, entrepreneurs and intrapreneurs, with the basic tools of finance to build superior business plans and marketing plans and so on, understand the language of finance. That uh, and communicate better with CEOs and CFOs, and to get you ready for fundraising. Happy? Thank you.